other one. Ow! I forgot I had a cut on my hand. It's Dee Dee here, and today we're take, doing another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at Lego set 76279. I believe it's called Spider Man Race Car and Venom Green Goblin. What another mouthful. Uh, oh God, how many pieces? Was it 200 something? It's 200 something pieces. I don't have the box with me anymore, but. So this is a very bad set. <laughs> so it reads it. Also, I gotta I gotta tell kind of a little story. So I believe this set's supposed to be thirty four ninety nine, and somehow I got it for ten dollars. I don't exactly know how, but here we are. So yeah. Um. Anyways, so. It's, I mean, it, it, it's a set. Oh, yeah, there's the cut, by the way. So, you guys like that. Um, I mainly bought it for him, obviously. Um, but we'll take a look at them a little bit closer in a second. So, let's let's look at the car. So, for a Spider-Man car, you know, I was actually not upset with it until these came along. So, they both can detach pretty easily. Like, I got to this point, I was like, all right, this is looking pretty good. This looked pretty And then they were like, all right, and then this is the back. And I was like... Really? And then it was this. And I was like, do you see how dumb this looks when it just goes straight from blue to transparent blue? Like, it's dumb. I do like these printed Spider-Man, like, Nexonite shield tiles because you get freaking four of them. You also get a print here. Like, there's no stickers in this set. You got a couple stud shoes on the front. We all know how those work. And also, these just don't stay on very well. I do like the exhaust thing. Like, you see how much this keeps coming off? You get two of the same printed piece there, and I guess I may as well show you how um, you're supposed to put the minifigures in there. Um, so let's take Spider-Man here with his very obnoxious-looking webs, but we'll talk about those in a second. All right, so Gwen is supposed to go behind him right here. And then he goes right here. And then you're supposed to put her skateboard behind like this. Yeah. So you can see them both in there, which actually, it looks a lot cooler when they're in there. I just wish this was made differently. I wish it wasn't one singular piece. I also wish that this wasn't such a weak freaking connection. Like, I genuinely wish, like, I honestly, you know what? I'm thinking about it. I might change this car and use a different piece just to make it look a little cooler. So we'll see how, we'll see if I decide to do that. Um, no guarantees, but I really kind of, Okay, I'm gonna do it because this this is terrible. Like, do you see how bad this is? It's it's barely staying on, and if you put even any pressure right here or over here, like it just wants to come off. This is a terrible design for the overhead of a car, especially with the skateboard in there. Like, it won't go down. Like, it's and then you're supposed to hold it here. But what if you want to hold it here, right? And then you just go, oh no, like this. And you know, I don't mind the skateboard, but like, why does why do we keep giving her a skateboard? Why Gwen doesn't have a skateboard? Like, she's like, if anything, give her a damn drum set that she can just you know make the villains listen to until they pass out from their ears bleeding or something. I don't know, but th th this car's terrible. Okay, and I genuinely might you know make some modifications. It's not that hard. Just use some blue pieces. You know, make a little. He doesn't even have a rear view mirror. Like. Okay, I like the white on the tires. I like how you can kind of see like a swirl with these little dots there. Um, you could alternately put some webs in there, which would make it look even cooler. Uh, I always like getting these car mold pieces, which are nice and big, and you can build off of those. It's just they always have to make these cars so big for children so they can get a good grip on them. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure kids aren't going to like this one because these pieces come off so freaking easily. So, yeah, there's the terribly designed spider car you know, number 25. And then we have the venomized, sorry, the venom green goblin glider. Okay. Hear me out. This is a great glider design for a venomized glider. I like the use of this piece rather than, you know, just because it keeps it at this angle. I don't know why the stud shooters have shoot red studs, but you know, it is what it is. Um, 
but I like the little blue coming out. I like how they got the goblin face looking here. And I love the tendrils coming out the back as if they're just flowing in the wind. Like, this is a good glider design to me. And I think it would be a perfect glider design if it was used with goblin colors. Yes, Lego oversizes the, the size of their green goblin gliders, but this just works. Like, I genuinely like this. This is my favorite part of the set. Um... Yeah, so, you know, not much else to say there. Um, you get another one of these banana peel pieces, which, once again, are made of rubber, and they're brand new. I hope to see these more, um, and I hope that we get a Mario Kart series. Actually, here, I'm going to test something. So here's the other one. Can you stack these? You can. Oh, my God. All right, you know what? I might have to... Uh, you know what you could use these for? A hat on, on like, a brick-built figure. Like, not on a minifigure, but, like... Oh my god, I'm trying to picture it. Like, like on, like on a mock or something. If you want a straw hat, you know, just use a banana peel. No, I, I like that you can stack them. That's really cool, actually. Um, so his webs, uh, we'll, we'll look at the figures on their own, but the webs themselves, I just wanted to give their own thing. So I'm not going to show how these work because, you know, we all know how these work. So you get another one of these web pieces that you get in the No Way Home Statue of Liberty set, which I think look great if you were to put on a wall and just leave like this, right? And then you get this, which you're supposed to put Venom Green Goblin in here, and then you wrap him up and close it like this. It's a cool concept, but it looks better if it was just, you know, on the ground and it was, you know, maybe at this angle. Because if you really do shake it, Oh, I guess he is in there. Oh, when I first did it, he yeah, see, if you really give it a good shake, he'll just come right out. So, you know, it's a cool idea. I like it, and I like getting more of these web pieces. Like, maybe I should start making more Spider-Man mocks and using these webs because now I have two. And I'm sure I will get more in the future because this is a genuinely cool spider piece. Honestly, I might put it on the Daily Bugle. It's not a bad idea. Eh, why not? Um... And then you have this. So you get another one of these rubber web pieces, which I don't mind. But again, they're so hard to pose with because I just want to do this. And for some reason, they tell you to put it on here. Like, why? Just put it in his hand like this. So I, I, don't, know, I don't know. But it is always nice to get this piece in white and that piece in white. So it's not fairly, fairly common. All right, let's look at these minifigures. All right, so of course, you know, we have Spider-Man here. This is the same minifigure we've been getting since 2021. Um, now, I actually got lucky with mine, and I got thin web lines on this torso. The arms are printed pretty decently. The head's printed pretty good. Like, it's a good Spider-Man figure. It's just, it doesn't have the dual-molded legs. And the only thing I think that could make this the perfect Spider-Man minifigure is if you give him dual-molded legs with printing on the web, on the red boots. Because they've done it before with Tom. And, you know... Now they're not doing it with this. Um, also, the camera just really doesn't like the angles here. Um, so, yeah, it's the same Spider-Man, just been used for about... Well, okay, if we got it in 2021, so then you're counting that. So, it's been three years, uh, and then it'll be four once 2024 is over. But, yeah, so, Spider-Man, everybody! Here we have Spider-Gwen, which who has been overused, or reused, sorry, since 2018 winter of 2018 because the the it, they were supposed to be the january 2019 sets and i managed to get they released a little early in my area and they probably released early everywhere so since winter 2018 this figure has existed so that's from 2019 2020 21 22 23 she's been around for five years it'll be six years come the winter of 2024 and they still haven't given her anything else uh they did update the hood but i don't like this hood piece on her i like the original um i wish she had some arm printing even some just little neon like translucent blue boot printing but nope nothing so same figure you know there's no back head printing there's no nothing it's it's not a bad figure it's just i'm sick of getting so many of them so you know give her a drum set and of course the main attraction what everyone is here for venom green goblin or better known as Venomized Green Goblin. So let's get this pumpkin out of the way first. This is a newer piece to me. I don't have this, and I think it's really cool. I uh, just wanted to point that out. All right, so I just also want to point out there is no leg printing on any of the figures in this set, and two of them have black legs. The torso is great. I like how 
I, I said in my early thoughts video, they need to be finishing these spiders. Like Venom Doc Ock only has half of it. At least Green Goblin has the full spider. I just wish like the entire torso was black because it's not finished on the back and you can still tell it's Green Goblin. Like in the torso is purple. I want more Venom torsos that just look like Venom. Like this would be a great torso for Agent Venom if it wasn't purple. So I'm sure somebody out there will paint this black and they'll do that since I said it or just in general. So the head is obviously the main attraction here. Um, so he actually looks a bit frightened under there because you got half Green Goblin there and it looks like he's either got scales or he's sweating. And then the yellow eye and the yellow teeth, which kind of remind me of Spider-Man Unlimited. It even more reminds me of Spider-Man Unlimited when you turn the head around because then you have a fully venomized Green Goblin face, which just looks sick as hell. You got, you know, the venom teeth are yellow, the eyes are yellow, and they're more greenish because they're printed on green, but it looks good. Like this, the just, I'm telling you right now, Lasher, right here. If, if you really want to and you want to be petty, I guess, you could draw black over the mouth, um, but I'm going to use Lasher, or use this head for Lasher, and I'm just going to keep it how it is because it is good head. Um, or who knows? Because, like I said, this, don't, like... I talk more about it later in the video, but yeah, so expect a Lasher custom with this at some point, but not anytime soon. So no, it's a good figure. I just, I just want Lego to stop giving us venomized villains and stuff and give us maybe a venomized Spider-Man, maybe give us a symbiote Spider-Man instead of this. It's cool, but like we want, we want the symbiote Spider-Man back. So please Lego, give it to us. All right. Well, that is it for the minifigures. Um... So overall, this set is pretty bad. Like I said in the beginning, like look, it's not even going down all the way. Like it's just bad. So I am gonna make a video on how to change this. I might change this, but this is the goal. The whole goal is for this piece to stay. Because if I could put some bricks under here, then maybe it would help. But right now, no. The only thing that's actually holding it is those front pieces. So as long as those are down, you're pretty much fine. But I am changing this piece to something different and it should still be able to hold the skateboard. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, I am gonna make an alternative build of it. I don't know what exactly yet, but I will figure it out. I just came up with an idea and it sounds feasible. Um, and like I said, like, because of this figure, I am totally going to use that for a Lasher custom. Don't expect that this year. I'm telling you that right now. I I, I have a, uh, excuse me, a Lego series that I've been working on for like two years on how to build the Life Foundation symbiotes, and it is way harder than you think. So bear with me. Maybe as more Venomized characters come out, it'll get easier. But for now, don't expect it this year. That's why I wasn't in the expect or even hope for it. don't even hope for it. it's not coming out this year anyways all right so if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like uh rip my palm uh comment that comment rap dd's palm <laughs> don't do that please <laughs> hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't have time for this video follow my twitch i stream every saturday peace out guys i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye for now